Apitamak is a deity worshipped in ancient Nubia, depicted as a figure with a male human torso and a lion head. As if looking at a statue of Apitamak, one would see a muscular, human torso with a broad chest, thick neck, and powerful arms, paired with a ferocious lion's head. The lion head has a wide, open mouth and sharp teeth, with piercing eyes that stare out with a commanding presence. The god often wears a headdress or crown adorned with feathers and carries a spear or bow and arrow, symbolizing his warrior aspect. As a deity, Apitamak was believed to have the power to protect his followers from harm and to aid them in battle. He was also associated with fertility and agriculture, and offerings were made to him to ensure bountiful harvests. His abilities were believed to come from his divine nature and his status as a protector and provider. Apitamak was worshipped primarily in the ancient Nubian kingdom of Meroe, located in what is now modern-day Sudan. The lion-headed god was often depicted on temple walls and was the subject of many religious rituals and festivals. As a deity, Apitamak did not have a natural habitat, as he was believed to exist in the spiritual realm. He was born into existence as a deity, and did not reproduce in the traditional sense. His purpose was to protect and provide for his followers, and to ensure the prosperity of the kingdom of Meroe. There is no evidence to suggest that Apitamak slept, as he was believed to be a divine being. He originated from the religious beliefs and practices of the ancient Nubian people, who worshipped him as a powerful deity. To ward off Apitamak's potential negative influence, one could wear an amulet or talisman blessed by a priest. There are no known spells or attire specifically designed to protect oneself from Apitamak's abilities. To survive from Apitamak, one would need to be a follower of his religion and adhere to the practices and rituals associated with his worship. There is no known way to lure or trap Apitamak, as he was believed to exist in the spiritual realm and could not be physically contained. As a deity, Apitamak could not be defeated in the traditional sense. However, his power could be diminished if his followers ceased to worship him or if the kingdom of Meroe fell into decline.